Lazy Bird, welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbid Sparks of Hope. Today, we are checking out the third area of the game. Of course, we've completed Pristine Peaks now, at least the main quest of it, and now we're moving to Palette Prime. Ooh, we need to be level 13 to level 20 for this one, so we just barely make the cut for now, but hopefully as we go through this, we will sort of, you know, figure more stuff out. We get a little bit of a closer look. It looks like an autumn-themed uh, planet, so that's really cool, so let's get started. We're on approach to Palette Prime, known for the warm orange and yellow foliage of its woodlands, its ambrosial pumpkin spice, Ooh. and uplifting poetry. I've been waiting to visit for ages. The presence of dark mess energy on this planet has obstructed the natural active synthesis of anthocyanin pigments. Huh leaving its forest canopies drab, while its labyrinthian woods swallow visitors in a shroud of impenetrable darkness. I'm trying to keep up with that one, but I'm not quite sure what she means. Where enchanted creatures observe and consider whether to help or to harm. Also, pumpkin spice is overrated. Ooh. What genie? Was that a joke? This is getting pumpkin spicy. <laughs> People look so sad. All right, well, let's see what's going on here in Palette Prime. I think this might be my favorite world yet, at least when it comes to aesthetics. Oh no, but that doesn't look very uh, autumn-y to me. It looks very gray. That's not good. So I guess we'll have to help things out here. So of course, there's plenty of dark mess waiting for us. So let's get to it. Oh, who's that? Hmm. What have you? What have you? Leaf Halo, and bosom friend. Arboreal wisdom to recommend. <laughs> uh -huh. Loyal beast, what solace do you bring? Arias of hope you hope to sing. Sing! Oh no! <laughs> but what is this? Hope that flies on eagle's wings. Oh, maybe. Not so much flying anymore. So who was that? What kind of approach was that? Did you optimize your landing protocols? Or did Rabbit Luigi spill chili on the orbiter controls again? The hard landing was caused by abnormal interference. Not dark mess related, but perhaps dramatist related? Whatever that means. Hello. Be gone, friends. Be gone. And pray you never see such universal sorrow, for hope fled before thee. This is Woodrow. This is T.S. Woodrow, warden of Pallet Prime and locally famous amateur poet, mostly self published. Interesting. Oh, whoa, whoa. A golden ruby, ruby quiff, or I don't know how that word is pronounced. Not gonna even try. Now dead in gray and dross, more horrid than this torture. I am too numb to feel their loss. Whoa. Translation, the trees are being drained of the anthocyanin pigmentation and carotenoid compounds needed to change color. Oh, I see. This is undoubtedly the work of a dark mess tentacle somewhere inside the spellbound woods. So we'll have Requiem. to stop that for sure. Requiem. Bespoke the loud, shrill clarion. Farmers are left for carrion. Life's a king-sized bust. The end. Elsewhere in the town plaza, villagers are being terrorized by a second tentacle and something else that's tearing it apart. However, the bridge to the plaza is destroyed. The only other access is through a secret passage underneath Woodrow's home. Oh. All right then. How did you get all that from a few lines of really depressing poetry? <laughs> An analysis of all 7.643 of Woodrow's poems divulged his communication and thought patterns. I... I suppose I understand him. Aww. 
Thank you, Genie. Forest befouled by dark mess? A village cut off and under siege? Oh, we're not going to have time to go to an apple pressing while we're here, are we? I suppose not. All right, well, let's put some some uh, motion to this poetry, I suppose, and get started with Off Color, The Fallen King, Find Woodrow's House. See, well, let's see what, what's going on here when it comes to everything. Our main quest is Off Color, Find Spellbend Woods Entrance, but also Find Woodrow's House. So I think this is what we're supposed to focus on for now, and we'll get to that eventually. So hopefully it all goes well, and we'll get to adventuring. So for right now, we need to head this way where there is someone hanging out. Curses minions busted our bridge, and now I can't bring my wares to the market. Please, I have zero other skills. Oh no, could we just walk across here? We cannot, so we'll have to find a way across this bridge or how to fix it. But in the meantime, break this open, grab a couple of extra coins, and oh, here's Woodrow again. Hi Woodrow, one, and once a fine and goodly place. Oh, the horror. Tragedy in town, horror in the forest, two halves of a bitter fruit, knee of fiendish root. Oh. Ah. <laughs> They're very impressed. That's cool. So I guess, you know, not too much we can do there just yet, but we'll be taking a look around some other spots and see what we can do. Um, Cause maybe I could just walk up and deal with this. Would this be the better idea? Darkness drained uh, our forest of its vibrant fall colors. I hope Palette Prime doesn't become Palette Grime. That's a pretty good rhyme too. All right, a ghostly sunset. We could do this one. Defeat the puddle blocking the entrance to the forest. Sure. Let's try this one then. I mean, it's something I can access right now, so I might as well try it. So I guess there might just be two main story quests going on at the same time. A ghostly sunset. Ooh, this area is pretty though. I like it. This is sort of the time of year it is right now as of recording this, it's, it's my favorite time of year, so. Very fitting. We're gonna defeat all these different rabbits, and I think there might be a couple of new ones. Oh, there definitely is. Ooh, but a spark to save as well. We have Zephyr Quake. Ghostly walkers, their gust wave attack pushes back everyone within range. They're invisible when they move, too. Reaction shots are useless against them. Okay, so when they move, they're invisible. So things like uh, Luigi's uh, Steely Stare won't help too much. Yep, you've got your hands full here. Just remember that if you win, I get to come with you. All right then, so let's try this out. First off, let's take a look at our brand new opponent over this way, the Ghostly Walker. Will not trigger hero reaction abilities when moving. Has a technique that allows it to separate heroes from cover before attacking. So it is weak to frostbite, but resistant to gusts. And besides that, we just have some flaming stooges, it seems. I don't see any other type of enemy, but there's 13 of them in total to go with. So let's first manage our team and see what we should go for. We're not gonna be focusing on hero site. I think that rules out Mario and Luigi. We could get Rabid Peach out here and maybe Rabid Luigi. Hmm. Yeah, let's do something like that really quickly. We'll keep with a rabbit team with Edge on there too. And let's see what we can do with our skill tree. Everybody's at one or two points. So I think we want to keep saving those. But the sparks, if they are weak to ice, yeah, definitely have whoever we can out here with ice. So we got cry cryobolide. That's always good. Um, I think that's the only ice one we have at the moment. And beyond that, we had uh the fire, the flame stooges. So having a aquanox would be great too. I'm gonna put that on rabbit peach. Um, beyond that, I guess we can just do a basic starburst. Starburst is always really good, in my opinion. Um, and then we should have enough star bits to improve uh, Screech here. So let's go ahead and upgrade you. There we go, you'll be level three, which will be our max level until we all reach level 21, I think. Oh no, actually no, we could get to level four already. So, oh yeah, I think it's level five needs level 21, okay. I have been using a lot of Aqua Dash. So let's, let's go ahead and try to upgrade that one a little bit, but then, I will not have enough Starburst to get anybody else level five. So we'll leave it like that for now. And let's get back into the action. Or I guess start the action. We haven't really done too much so far in today's episode. So let's go for it. Here we go. Whoa, so we gotta bounce off of this. Oh, that's cool. So does that eliminate our ability to get a team jump? I could team hop up go. here too, yeah. He said team, gump, team jump go, so. How could I do this? Um, I could do one of these and then attack like this. Ooh, that'd be quite the crazy bounce. So let's try that to start with. Frostbite attack on Rabbit Luigi. And bounce that around. That does quite a lot of damage. I like it. So really good setup to start things out. Ooh, very, very nice. 
we're going to move over to Edge. Come on! And with Edge, I might be able to get over there. I might want to try on this side. There we go. And then maybe jump over again. I'm mostly focused on the ghostly ones, I think, for now. Because now that I'm thinking about it, Edge's ability won't really work. Um, at least not against them. So what if I were to not attack them, but attack you? It did, doesn't quite line up the way I wanted it to. I wanted to try to hit you from this side, but I guess that might not work out. Uh, what we can do instead is just hit you with the uh, shock attack. Because I don't think any of these opponents are resistant to it, at the least. Couple of options. But if we're gonna do that, we should also tackle you, right? You know, well, might as well. well. Could I tackle you or are you too far? You're too far. So we'll leave it like that and at least get rid of one opponent here. I'm a little scared that anybody over there might be able to strike us, but I guess we'll see. For right now, I can at the least guarantee that this one enemy is taken down. Just did it. Okay, so what can Rabbit Peach do? Definitely something. We wanna get you out for now. And remember that with her, we can actually be fairly effective against, oh boy, um, these kind of enemies with, oh gosh. Maybe I should use it then? Or I could try this, because this would do some damage, right? Or will this not work? The whoops gotta go. I thought it would push enemies away. It says no targets in range. That's a bit odd, I don't know how this works. Um, I thought I did. Let's just activate the splash attack then so I can guarantee getting rid of this person next to us. Uh, yep, just like that. Nice. Okay, so they're gonna get launched. And I think that's everything we can do. So it's, yeah, their turn automatically. Um, we're gonna fast forward. Some more of these flame stooges are moving over, but we can handle them no problem. Especially once we get edge out. Let's start doing the, the water dash. That's gonna be really good. So, might wanna start working on that now. Is what I could do. Hmm. It's a little odd, but I guess I could have you team jump and then get over there. I hope I can make this. I really hope I can make this. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem. Boom, right about there. We're going to activate then the splash dash. I have a lot of fun with this one. Is there any way I can hit both of them at once? Yeah, I don't think so, unfortunately. It. But I'll be able to knock you over. Now I think I could, maybe. Hard to tell. By the way, uh, not quite over the side like I wanted. That's all right. I think we'll just do that for now. There's just a couple of enemies over there, but nothing that I don't think they can't handle. So switching back over to Rabbit Peach and Rabbit Luigi. Where can I position Rabbit Luigi to get a bunch of enemies taken out? I think over here would be better. Would be much better. Oh gosh, it was a little scary. We're gonna vaunt over, dash into you. And I have to, uh, okay, well, vault back over again. There we go. Um, and that should be three of them. Not quite fully eliminating them, but it's a start. Got it and got it. Ooh, so you went flying because you still have the, the one ability on you, so that's good. So you would think Rabbit Peach would just be able to, I guess because she was over there before. I'll just do this then. It's not much, but it's another rabbit taken down. And in total, I think we've gotten like five enemies defeated. We had six enemies defeated actually. So we're getting closer. Let's um end this turn, I suppose. Well, actually no, Rabbit Edge hasn't attacked yet. Who can they attack? Nobody from here. All right, well, that's a little unfortunate. And there's not really too many flame stooges nearby that I can really use this just about. I could try some other items, seeing how I haven't used some of these. Let's see. Let's try using the move boost. It'll allow me to move farther like this, but maybe not quite far enough. There's immunity charm. Gives you immune to super effects for three turns, but can't get rid of existing super effects. Uh, I don't know if any of those would really be the best right now. Let's just try the move boost, because I'm a little Let's bit curious see. about it. But I don't know if this is even the best spot to be in, you know? Um, oh, but using that item did make it so that I can't really go too many other places. All right then, um, or I can't do too much else, I can't attack. I still think that back here is my best spot, so we'll just pass the turn. And lots of flaming stooges moving, but not too worried about it just yet. 
Hmm. So they're all positioning quite a lot. I think this is where we want to focus on getting Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach over here. So first things first. Where does Rabbit Peach need to be? Okay, this seems good. So we'll just team jump like this and just try to use this stuff to get over as far as we can. Because I could drop down about here and then I can jump off of this one. It's so useful how you can do that. You can get super duper far with it. There we go. And then, once again, how does this, enemies within range are repelled from the hero's position. Hmm. I'll keep her there for now, because I'm still trying to figure out uh, what to do exactly, because I guess I should have gotten Rabbit Luigi over a little bit closer. Whoops, didn't think about that. That's okay, we can get Edge over one way or another, like this. Come on a little bit more. Perfect. So I will dash into you, dash into you, go back over here, dash into you. Could I jump it. off this from here? Oh, I can, look at this, that's so fancy. Uh, but do I want to? Do I do I want to stand over this way and go for you two? That might be the best bet. You know what, let's go for this. And we should have one more point left over. And while it can't be used on these little ghost guys, it can still be used if the Flaming Stooge moves. So let's get that sword ready. You got it, Edge. Okay, so while that's waiting, let's see what we can do with Rabbit Peach. Because unfortunately, I mean, I actually, in theory, hold on, hold on. We might be able to do more here than I thought. Because you can just do this infinitely, it feels. Uh, I could just get Rabbit Peach right here. Team jump off with Ra Rabbit Luigi. Yeah, they were good. We can get them basically wherever we want on the map. Not everywhere, but lots of different places we can get them to reach. All just depending on how long their lighting distance is, which is pretty large. I guess I should have done some damage boosting then, but I still have a chance to make things work here um, and get some effective things done. So we've gotten six out of 13 of them defeated. So I'm going to jump, fly over here, and then yeah, I can't team jump anymore. But what I can do, is fly over this way. You can make this last basically forever, it's so silly. You can dash into you. Oh, that does count, because they're not invisible yet. Oh, I see. That is so interesting. All right, well, Edge can't move. Edge can't do too much from here, so we're going to get Rabbit Peach up. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Whoopsies. Uh, that's fine now, that's fine. I guess we'll just have her wait right here. And before we go too crazy with anything, let's get Rabbit Luigi onto that side too, because I think we could do some major stuff with him if we power him up. Okay, yeah, jump off of this one and make sure I properly get on this time. And then from here, I'm going to damage boost all of our team. I really wish I could have done that before, but it's okay, now I know. And then look at this, wow, what a bounce. That is crazy. Boom, boom, it's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six opponents hit with that. That is something else. Back over to Rabbit Peach. There's gotta be some more I can do here. I could repel some of them. I might as well repel them a little bit, making it more difficult for them to actually reach us. There you go. It only affects that one. I thought it would fit that one over there, but I guess not. Um, speaking of which, I can hit them pretty hard. I might go for this one. It's the closest one, so we might as well. There we go, and that's going to be them taken out. We're doing really well now. Things are picking up in a major way. Ooh, they're trying to bring it back to us, but they can't even quite reach for most of this. So at this point, I think we switch back over to Rabbit Luigi, see who we can attack, which right now isn't anyone. So I might just need Rabbit Luigi a bit closer, maybe to about here. And I could go with something like this. It only hits two of them. But that's still not bad, so we'll go for this. Got it, and got it. Then, we go back over. Oh, I could have done the ice move with that too, I'm so silly. Dash for you, and then dash for you again. Just said, wait, geez, brutal. Um, can jump over. Try something from over here, because we could I guess just dash into you too. And get rid of you 
Like this. There you go. And then we're down to only a couple more enemies. Too easy. Too easy. All right, then. I think we want to get over to this way with Robin Peach. Lots of options, of course, but I think this is the best one for us. Because I could get over there and then dash him and then just go away. That's the crazy thing. Let's go right about here. Give them a good dash and then just run to a safer spot again. How crazy is that? And these are the last two enemies, so we're really getting close. I can finish you off, no problem. And I think we want to end the turn there. Seems right to me. So we'll see what the Flame Stooge does. Nothing that really matters too much. So yeah, we're good just to get over there. First, let's move um, Edge over, because I think Edge could probably handle it pretty easily. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely, because if you think about it, what we could do here is drop down, activate our little splash dash. <laughs> yep, and then boom, hit Just that, and then we're good, we win. Okay, very cool round, we didn't take any damage, so that was pretty perfect. All right then, so, oh, we get some level ups, we're level 16. Looking really strong as a team at this point, so that's always good to see. And we've cleared out this dark mess puddle that was taking over the forest. Whoa. Enter the spellbound woods. Zephyrquake joins the team as well. We'll get a bunch of star bits, and we are going to enter these woods. Oh man, it is a mess in here. This is gonna take some work to get through, isn't it? My instruments are unable to find the safest passage through the labyrinthian forest to the darkness tentacle. The risk of not becoming irreparably lost is roughly a snowball's chance and... Whoa! We get it. No need for salty language. Oh no. Okay, so let's see what we can do about it. I got it! We burn the forest down! Then we can go straight to the tentacle. I don't think that's the best Absolutely answer. Absolutely not. We will find a solution, okay? Though, maybe we should look for some matches just in case. No need for that, Peepo. Oh, it's Twinkle. Good to see you again. Looks like I traced your steps just in time. Twinkle? But I thought we left you on Beacon Beach. You did, but with all the Spark Hunter talk, I thought I'd be better off with you, so I followed you here. But not just to tag along. If you're looking for something, I can help. Here, watch. Oh, really? Whoa. Whoa. So we get another rabid Whoa. Spark upgrade. I can see the light. And other things as well, I think. Thanks to my new power, what was unable to be seen can now be revealed. Ooh. So what will this do? The Beepo Power Scan. The Scan Beepo Power previews or reveals clues or details invisible to our heroes. Hold ZL to use it. Whoa. Head toward the tentacle in the forest. I will in just a moment, but as you can see, there are some hidden footsteps on the ground that lead to a ladder. So now we can climb up this ladder and we have a way up. That is so interesting. So, you can just look around for stuff all the time. That is so fun. So I can pick up this egg, of course, and throw it at you. Boom, and that clears up a path for us. This is amazing, thank you, Twinkle, or whatever their name, I think it was Twinkle. Okay, is there anything else around here for the time being? I don't think so. So let's take a look at this. You press the L to use Beepo's scan power, even if he grumbles about it. All right. So first things first, let's activate this flag so we can come back at any time. We'll get the Spellbend Woods Entrance flag. And there's a lot of ways to go. I don't know exactly which way I should try to focus on for now, but shake a bush, get a couple of coins out of it. There are some rabbits to talk to over here. Okay, so first we'll grab that and then talk to you. The reveal power must come in handy. The Spellbend Woods is full of mysteries, invisible to the naked eye. I guess so. Um, speaking of which, is there anything around here? We need to find the green triangle to proceed. And standing on this, oh, I see. So if we could just put something on top of it, that'd make it much easier. Can I do anything over here, I wonder? What is this about? It's glowing. Whoa, to the left? Whoa, there's a pipe! Oh, that's so cool! 
So what's going to be on the other side of the pipe then? Okay, hold on, let's zap these two things for some coins. There's an enemy, uh-oh. But beyond that, what else is going on around here? Uh-oh, we got more hidden footsteps. And they are leading into this bush and on the other side where we find another ladder. This is so much fun. Look at Detective and whoa, we found the hidden boss which requires 24 sparks. That is so many, so obviously we're not tackling that quite yet, but at some point, sure. Um, for right now, we're just gonna hop back down and look around for some other stuff. Beyond that, there's a nice little bundle of coins I will happily grab. Back to the action. I think I saw another pipe. No, no, I think it's just a pipe we came from. No, it's not. And we get dashed anyway. So I'll deal with these enemies first and then we'll look around a little bit more. Jeez, these guys are tough. But it's a small area for sure. So I think we can handle it. I see a group of Goombas and plenty more of these other enemies. So let's try this out with what we currently have. Defeat all eight enemies. Um, you know what? Yeah, I will start with Splash Dash. Because we, I can see some major things to do here. Um, first, and I could go pretty crazy with this too. I could activate the Storm Blade. We saw this already, so I can just dash into this and be flying, and then Storm Blade should activate, and I'll hit you with that. Oh my goodness, that is a major way to take out an enemy straight away. Okay, Very cool. Okay, I didn't mean to team jump off of you, but if it works, it works. And then I should be able to get close enough to have you all in range, or most of you in range. Uh, dash for you, almost sent them off, and then dash for you. What's cool about this setup too is that if I had, actually, well, I can't really. The problem is I already used my one attack, so I guess I can't do too much more there, but we could team jump, send Rabbit Luigi over. Remember, these guys are weak to ice, so I could try something crazy, like activating the frostbite attack, and throwing this at a ton of enemies, a ton of them. Oh my goodness, boom, boom, boom. That was crazy. We're not quite done here. I need to jump off of this and get Rabbit Peach as far as it'll let me get her. Well, we can even team jump if we need to. Dash into you, and then I guess if I could take your spot, that'd be great. Um, and yeah, we don't need to heal, but I could attack. One, two, three. Very nice. Okay, well, that's not exactly where I wanted you to stand, but that's okay. We're doing great. Um, I think we'll just leave it like this. There's only one more enemy to take out anyways. And we just have to swipe at them. <laughs> They're not even gonna move. They're too scared. Okay, great for us. I will get Rabbit Pete over. Just jump over like this. Drop back down, give you a dash, and we win. That was really real. <laughs> Okay, we're doing really good in the battle so far in today's episode. I can't wait to keep that up as we explore more of uh, Palette Prime. So what is up this pipe then? Um, A ladder to lower, so I'll do that. And we've made a full circle on this side. So I'll have to explore the other side a little bit too. But I guess we'll, oh, it, whoa, what is this? Oh, you know what? I bumped into an invisible barrier earlier, but no one believes me and I can't find it now. Well, I found it. We are supposed to push this off so that we can press the button. So it looks like we were going the right way after all. So that's nice. Let's okay, put push this off to the side. I need to uh, do a bit of that. There we go. And climb down. Yeah. So let's try this one. And we got it. Cool. So we're still trying to find Woodrow's house with all this, but I mean, for that it's telling me to go this way. So I'm a little confused on what we're trying to do right now and how this might clash with the main quest, but I do see some more stuff here. Is there hidden footsteps? Not really. Level 15 Goomba, there's uh, the Princess Peach and the Prima Donna up there. That's a side quest, so I'll leave that for later. But look at this, a hidden platform giving me a super easy power block. Don't mind if I do. I wonder if we're supposed to use these abilities in previous worlds, and maybe that's why I was missing 100% on Beacon Beach. I guess we'll see eventually, but for right now, I'm good enough to proceed here, so let's just take a quick look at this before I go back and try Woodrow stuff. Your reveal power must come in handy. Okay, it looks like they have a quest, but it's not really showing it to me. Either way, we could go this way. Whoa, look at this spot with all the falling leaves. Off color, find the path leading to the tentacle in the woods. 
Yeah, I think we're, gonna, we're just gonna focus on this one then. Where, as you can see, I can't get much farther without getting rid of them. So if we could just look around to see what our alternatives are for getting around. Avoid that big mean Goomba for now. Nothing over here, okay. Really just trying to be thorough, make sure I don't miss anything. Oh no, but that Goomba is charging after me. I don't think it'll go this far, right? Oh, it is, it is. Hey, it gave up. Okay, so. There is more over here, including a place to put some kind of little shape, it's like a triangle. Let's try this out. Can I go inside? No, I can't. Oh, maybe that's just an exit? I don't know, it's not working. Uh, so we'll go somewhere else instead. And you know what, he's gonna try to get me. I might as well get them first, because if not, it sort of becomes a bit of a pain trying to avoid them. And we got rid of the other one so easily, I can only imagine the same will happen here. Ooh, all right, we have to defeat all these Goombas. I do see some uh, Flame Sieges as well, but it's only eight enemies in total, so we take a quick look. Three Goombas there, three Goombas there, two Flame Sieges. All right, here we go. I think we'll be fine with that. The first things first uh, is that I might, I might just boost everybody's attack power while I have the chance. There we go. I might wanna get everybody in a position where I can move them. Yeah, I think about there is good so that I could really go crazy with some of this. There's no jump pads on this one, so I'm trying to keep that in mind as I focus on different enemies. There we go, ready? Dasher, you three. Already putting me in a good spot. <laughs> Very satisfying, I agree. Let's do the same thing. I wanna just elevate all my team here, so making sure that both of these uh, teammates get boosted over would be great, but can I reach these three? Oh, yes, I can. No problem. Boom. Can't hide. Hey, you really can't, because then I can activate even something like this, shock attack, or I could just do storm blade, so if this guy even decides to budge, we take them out. Hit I'll them with this. We got a critical with that too, and just leave it like that for now. In the meantime, what can Rabbit Peach do? There's that one stooge over there, so I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to hit them. Maybe just from like this way. Activate the splash attack. Even if only one of the missiles lands, it'll be fine. Uh-oh. Um, let's move over a little bit then. Try that out. Boom, boom, boom. There's one of them, and you go flying with it. So this is where Rabbit Luigi can actually participate with that. Um, we've already used the one. Hopefully this is enough. I need to get a little bit closer. Ah, uh, it's not quite, unfortunately. So let's see where I can maybe hide. Like this. I wish I was close enough to actually dash into them. Yes, but we can do this, and that'll send them flying again. Keep in mind, we gotta keep that splash effect in mind. That'll defeat the enemy. And then they try to move, we finish them off without any damage taken so far in today's episode, as far as I can tell. Um, we are just getting done more and more battles. So that's great. Let's get back to exploring the woods. I think that there is maybe something this way. Oh yeah! Okay, there's definitely something to break. And we gotta keep checking around for everything else. Broke that open for some easy coins. Get to searching wherever I can. If we see any footsteps or a hidden little memory. Sweet. Very sweet. This is the memory for uh, Spellbound Woods. Very cool, that's where we are right now. So, oh, and there's the shape we needed, right? Oh, no, 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 this is the egg. Yeah! So I can use this to clear out a, an, an area. Okay, and there's another one of those. Go through the pipe with this, and now I know exactly where we are. See, now I can go through this pipe, but it wasn't letting me before, that was so silly. Either way. Speed donuts! Speed donuts, apparently. Uh, we need to run over here, toss this onto there. That was pretty whoop, good. Whoop. There is another enemy waiting for us. This time, I'm gonna get to dash on them, finally. I don't know if that actually gives an advantage or not. It seems that like the battles start the same either way, but I'm glad to beat them to it at least. Okay, so we got to defeat two ghostly walkers. It's actually not too big of a deal with our current setup, because there's one of them, where is it? Oh, are they both? Oh, so there's other enemies as well, but the ghostly walkers we're mostly focused on, so I think I'll start. Okay, there's, there's a guy right there. I don't think I need to worry about that too much. Would this bounce to them? It would, so what we could do 
start with the frostbite attack and just go crazy on them. Just to damage that down as much as possible. Ready? 506, pretty cool. So let's try to get them over there then. Um, They both can walk all the way up, which is great. Cause that means I can team jump over and then jump up on there. That would be nice. Get right about here. I'm going to activate the uh, Splash Dash. I guess the only problem now is that Rapid Peach can't get over, so let's make the most of this. I'm going to land about here. Dash into you to send you flying. Hop down so that I can focus on this one. Because what I could do here, keep in mind, I can activate Stormblade. Um, dash into the both of them, but I really want to make sure the Stormblade hits this one specifically, so doing that would be good. Ooh, hit them a little bit more, and they're gonna fly off to that side. Unfortunately, not exactly where I wanted them, um, because I can't hit them from here. <laughs> so I guess I'll do this one instead. So let's see, can Rabbit Peach finish him off? Yes, she can. So that is going to be another one of these enemies defeated, and it should be the last one we need. Keeping it 100, for sure. Battle cleared again. So we're slowly chipping through uh, level 16 pretty nicely. Let's see what we can do now then. So now that we've gotten through that, there is the forest rush. Ooh, is there anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. So let's try this out, forest rush. Ooh, so we're back here in the autumn forest. We gotta reach that area. So maybe now's a good time to change out my team, but things are working out so well with them that I'm a little hesitant to. Oh, but there's some wild claws behind us too. This is a little scary. Let's just keep with it for right now. Um, and then maybe we could change things up a bit later if we wanted to. Okay, so we're getting some Ubisoft stuff that I'm not really too familiar with. But wait, let's quit take a quick look around. We do have some of these guys returning, the um, Squashettes. Oh no, they're different. Uh, leaps high into the air, landing near as many opponents as possible to inflict a gust attack that sends them flying backwards. That's new. We've seen the other squash kind of enemies, but we have gust. And then, of course, the wild cards, which we haven't seen in a little bit, but it looks like that's all the enemies except for some typical uh, stooges. And these guys, the uh, scopers. So how do I want to do this in terms of the map? Because I could team jump over here, jump off of this stuff, and land about here. That wouldn't be too far. Um, and then we can just work on team jumps to get ourselves farther over from there. I think that might be what we want to work on for the time being. So whatever we do, I think I want Rabbit Peach to be involved. So we might start a little small to begin with. Hmm. Yeah, I think something like this. Okay, so what I can do, team jump, and I think make it to here. I sure hope so, because if not, I'm in trouble. There we go. And then we're gonna land on this, jump again. And then same thing with this one. And I could if I wanted to go crazy, because they have 740 health, that's quite a lot. Hmm, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I will, maybe I will. Go back over here really quickly, just to eliminate some extra enemies, what we could do, right? Do the splash dash. <laughs> Knock you out of here, see ya. <laughs> that was good, so that's just some nice sounds to start off with. We're gonna do the same thing on this side with this enemy. This one I could eliminate entirely, I think, depending on where they respawn. Get this dash into them again. I think that's all the dashes I have for Edge. And I think I wanna hide Edge right about here. We could consider an extra attack. Yeah, something like Flying Blade doing some good numbers on the squash at. Because we can't get these two over quite yet. Or actually, maybe I could? Could Rabbit Luigi team jump off of you? Sorta. Um, there we go. Team jump and get you over too. But the only problem I have with that, right, is that Rabbit Luigi needs to be able to allow um, Rabbit Peach to jump somewhere. Okay, who else can I attack? Anybody? Okay, not really anybody else. I could go on this side and then go for them. That might be a better idea. What are they weak to? Anything? 
No, no strengths or weaknesses. Let's go with just powering ourselves up. I mean, if we want to do that, let's get Rabbit Peach down too. But she can, right? Yep, she can go down. Right there, perfect. So yeah, let's go ahead and do power boost, turbo charging. And that should be good. Switch back over to Rabbit Peach, eliminate this one squash at, and then Rabbit Luigi can focus on the Stooges. Sleepy time indeed. Back over to Rabbit Luigi, focus on these Stooges. Not enough for a one hit takedown, but it, it's something. And we still have the heal. If we take damage here, we still have a heal. So it's fine. There we go. I think we end the turn like that. Yeah, I, I think so. So confirm. One of these enemies is moving over that does, oh wow. Knock Edge back a lot farther than I was anticipating, but then that will knock us forward and off the side. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. So those enemies can cause some major problems for us, but I think that we're already coming up on the final stretch if all we're supposed to do is reach the area. We can do some pretty major maneuvers, I think. Some extra stooges are inching over. Oh, that hurts a bit more. Go on. All right, so first things first, we're going to run out with Rabbit Peach and heal the both of them. Just like this, I got you covered. Don't worry about it. Calling up some extra health. And then I guess, what is the farthest that Edge can go? Right about here. So I think we'll have Edge jump off first. Yeah, 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 okay. So get Edge to go maybe around. I want to get them here. I know that, you know, dashing into them would probably be the best thing, but I don't know. It might just be better to get them over this way and about here. Because who else can we go for here? You are pretty easy just to dash into. What's the farthest rabbit Peach can go? Just there. So I guess we'll first use Rabbit Peach to team jump up here, same deal really. And right about there would be great, so we can dash into the both of you, only get one defeated. But how are we getting Rabbit Luigi up is the question. I guess we don't. I could do something like this, but it wanted to hit you for some reason. I figured it would bounce over, but it won't. Um. Darn, okay, you know what? I think what the smartest thing we could possibly do here then is to activate our freeze power, frostbite attack, and put that on the one squash it down there. We'll have Rabbit Peach attack. No, wait, that's not gonna reach. I, I didn't I no didn't mean to click that. Okay, that's fine. Once I noticed it didn't reach was the moment after I clicked it. So that might put us in a bad situation, but the least I can do is a triple troll. I was hoping to freeze the one down there so it would move closer to us, but. You know, it is what it is. And that's all we can do with Rabbit Peach. But uh, Edge can still do something. Can't reach that one, but I can reach you. Uh, should I electric power it? I don't know. You know what, sure. Sounds like fun. Do some extra damage to you. Then go for you. If it's some crazy criticals, it's not, but. Too easy. I don't know, maybe it will take you out. Okay, then it worked out in the end, because you're gonna be a little bit closer, but not enough to actually affect anybody, and same thing with the rest of these enemies. Like maybe that one stooge could be a bit of an issue here, but beyond that, I think we're good just to move towards the end. Oh gosh, I forgot about these two. I did hurt Edge. Uh oh, cool. 370 from that stooge. The stooges hit harder than you'd expect at this point in the game. Okay, so let's get back to it then. First things first, I will get Rabbit Peach down this way, jump off of you, and try to land somewhere where Rabbit Edge can jump off of it. I think about here would be fine. Let's see. There we go. Um, Rabbit Luigi can't do too much here, but... Yep, perfect spot then. I'm really glad that worked out. And I don't know if this will be a full reach, but I'm really gonna try. Come on, come on, come on, come on, almost. Yes, we'll get there. We did it, awesome. That was a really close call, but I'm glad we figured it out. And we won't get any heals for getting through that mission. So I might change out my team next time. But you know, they've done a great work so far in today's episode, so I definitely don't mind. So, Spellbound Woods, more progress. We still need to find that tentacle though. So let's see what we can do. First, blast that open, just sort of, 
take a look around. I might not want to fight them if I can avoid it. Uh, oh gosh, their tree snap to be pretty quick though. Bone click. There we go. And whoa, what is this? Uh-oh. What was that down there? I'm not quite sure. The tentacle that's draining the woods, and it's in a deep, dark, scary pit. That's new. Be careful. We cannot know precisely what you will be stepping into down there. You will be like mice in a maze. Oh, no. That is a metaphor. I, I noticed. No worries, Genie. Off color, leap into the abandoned well. Well, first things first, let's definitely get that right there. The um, abandoned well flag. Is there anything else to do around here before we hop into this mess? It looks like there might be a little something over here. Oh, we can lower the ladder. That's very useful, so that we can have a bit of a shortcut for later. So that's always good. I can pick up this coin and more coins will pop up. And now we're ready. Okay, wrong way. To hop into the well and hope for the best. Let's see. Enter. And here we are. Climb to the bottom of the abandoned well. And there's already a shop here. No matter how dangerous, there's always room for profit, I suppose. Let's talk to you, how are you doing? Best shop around. I know what you're thinking. Is that pumpkin spice hot apple cider? Or a bargain you're smelling? Look, I'm not going to give you the usual shtick. I saved that for the roops. You, you recognize superior value when you see it. It's practically written on your faces. For you, I have my top of the line merchandise. I don't even bring this stuff out for most customers. Also, everything here is covered by my no refund, no exchange, no fault, no fault policy. <laughs> so shop without fear that I'll that I'll be inconvenienced. All right, then. so let's see what you have. Ooh, there is some new items here. We we'll get two extra dashes, the multi-dash. Busy hero on the go, add two dashes to your current turn. That sounds insane. Um, I'll buy two of them. A little pricey, so I don't want to shell out a ton of cash for it just yet. And of course, our stuff for this planet. Um, that is so crazy. Um, we'll keep it like this. Was there something? Oh yeah, there was something to break here. So let's try this. Boom, get a couple more coins to make up for what we just spent. And we're off to the adventure. I'm very nervous, but, oh, there is already a little place to cross here. But I can't really do anything about it. Not until I get that triangle piece. Um, that pipe there is gooped up, so I'm sure that's after we defeat it. Uh, but let's keep going. And I don't know how to change, it keeps on telling me to go to Woodrow's house. Is there a way I can change my quest focus here? Because I want to focus on this one. There we go. There we go, climb to the bottom of the abandoned well. That sounds like much better of a plan. And then here's the triangle thing. So for right now, what do we do? Oh, there's a ladder to reveal over that way. And let's get to that. There we go, much better. And dash into this, pick this up, and toss it over to you. Yeah. Gotcha. I thought I missed for a second. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> but we got it. So first things first, I need to grab this and bring it all the way back up. Because I don't think we just put it into here, right? Nope. It does take a bit of work, but it's no problem. Just rush, run, rush up here. Go across. And luckily, we already revealed this, so it's not too much of a puzzle. Okay, very cool. We're good to go back down. It's so eerie in here so far. No music or anything, it's just the, the cold atmosphere of this abandoned well. Okay, so what's going on around this side then? First off, I can blast this, just to deal with it. And it looks like there's not too much more to do. I'll just go down this way and take a look. I'll just keep this going the entire time just to make extra sure we don't miss a secret because I, I really don't want to. Oh, oh! here we go, this is exactly why. The well hidden. Well, we're not gonna do this one quite yet, but it, you know, it, it's good for it to be here. So now we know. Once it gets revealed, I think it just stays there, so that's great. But yeah, since that's revealed, it'll stay on our log. So that's always great. And we need another shape for this time, we need the square, so we're gonna go through this pipe. And off to the side. Ooh, there's something. There's the square. Nice and easy. So I'll keep looking though, because there's clearly gotta be something over here. There is a pipe to go through. Where will this one lead? 
can't be the one that's gunked up on the other side, right? So now I'm a bit curious. Huh, oh, look at this, it's one of the puzzles. This is the, um, who's the thief, the guardian? It's one of these um, puzzles that we see with the archeologist. That's cool and everything, but it's definitely something we will save for the episode where we adventure through all of Palette Prime and get it 100% completed, not for today. So in the meantime, let's break that open again. And I guess just get back up there with our one cube. I got it. Glad to hear Abba the Luigi. Enter through here. And then right over there. Now's a good time to check though. Yeah, these don't go away after you reveal them. So that's nice. Doesn't mean that we have to like rediscover anything if I forget later. So we'll grab some of that. I will do that too. I think we're good here. Not gonna find too many secrets. Can just go down the ladder. All right. So, ooh, off color. Wipe out the dark mystical under the woods. So we finally reached the bottom. That's very cool. I think we'll change our team up as we hop into Roots of Corruption. Oh man, because we've got a couple of level ups. Whoa, look at this thing. This looks complicated. We need to defeat the Dark Mist Taproot. Well, hopefully we can handle that. It's not a very big area to fight. And hey, look, it's a whole new spark. Oh, it's an electric one, I think. Electrogeddon. I don't mean to tell you your business, but you need to destroy that Dark Mist Taproot to descend. Target all three of its weak points at once. Then you'll be able to get to the bottom of things down below. Ooh, I almost left out the best part. Once you win, I get to leave this place with you. Can't wait. All right then, so let's definitely change our team up. I think that if it's going to be close range like this, this really tiny platform, we definitely want Rabid Mario, and then I think Princess Peach. Um, when it comes to everything else, maybe we could add Rabid Rosalina, or I could do Mario. Let's do Mario for now. Such so your team, Rabid Mario, Princess Peach, and Mario. Uh, for the skill tree, we only have one point for Mario at the moment, so I don't know if I wanna boost too much. We could do um, higher health for now, or I could keep saving the points. I think it's better to save the points for the time being. On top of that, we will, um... oh yeah, because I haven't put any of this in with Rabid Peach. I need to consider some of that soon. Either way, we have three points for Peach, so what do I wanna do here? I could work towards the fighting spirit, if the first shot defeats an opponent, a team barrier charge is added to Peach. Um, but there's also a team barrier discharge that needs one more point. Produce a five meter, meter, meter area of damage when the barrier charge is destroyed. There's so many good ones, it's hard to decide, but additional charges for the barrier sound really good too. Let's try this. That way we can play really risky if we need to. Um, I'll take that, and then switching over to Mario, or Rabid Mario, we have five points to spend. Things like no limits, attacking does not end movement phase, that sounds amazing, but to get to that, I would need to get Punch Frenzy, where we get two more weapon hits. There's things like Payback, counterattack returns 50% of the damage, and then Area Dash range increase. Further increase the range Rabid Mario uh, Mario's area dash, but for that we need area dash in general. Rabbit Mario's dash generates an area of damage hitting all opponents nearby. There's so many good ones. There's so many good ones indeed, but I think we will start saving up for this. So first off, get this. That requires three points. Or no, it only required two, so I could actually get this. Let's go for it. That sounds amazing, because um, we already have the max amount of dashes for him, which is two. So I guess we're good to go with that. When it comes to the sparks that we currently have equipped, we did just unlock a brand new one that has the gust ability, of course, and that is um, the Zephyr Quake. Cast three shockwaves of gust super effect. Each one deals 73 damage, and then the gust protector. All super effect damage is reduced by 20%. Heroes are not affected by gust super effect. So what could be good about this, and a lot of you have let me know this, is that, yeah, I might not be able to use the gust on enemies to be super effective here, um, but, it will prevent a character from getting gusted. So probably good on Rabbit Mario. And I don't remember who else we have to go against, so maybe I'll just do this. And I think I'll I'll replace this with that. There we go. Um, with Mario though, I think I want Starburst. Put them there. There we go. And let's definitely level up you then. 
just like that. At least level two. I don't have a ton of star bits at the moment, so I might want to be a little bit scarce with it. But we'll try this out and take a double check with the enemies that are on the field. But I think we have a good enough team that it's going to be fine. We don't have to worry about it too much, but just wanted to make sure that we're strong for whatever battle we're about to head into. Because um, with these guys, as you can see, the squash heads, they're weak to frostbite, but they're strong with the gust. But now, Rabid Mario should not get gusted. So, here we go. Oh, too easy. Too easy indeed. Mario can start with some ice attacks if we wanted to, but I think in one turn, we need to get rid of all three of these, and I think I know exactly how to do that. Um, what we really want is this rabid Mario standing here. Ooh, actually, that doesn't quite reach them exactly how I would have imagined. I mean, it gets most of them. Oh, wait, is that all three of them? There we go. I finally found that perfect punch. There it is. So what happens now? The whole platform gets to move. So I think that was the most effective thing to do. Uh, now we have to survive five turns. So things are getting a little scary here, but what we could do first off is set Rabbit Mario up with a return damage, just in case they do end up focusing on him. We can bring back some of the, the p power here. We don't have anywhere to hide is the scary thing. So just getting Rabbit or just Mario um, over this way, I think is best. We'll do that frostbite attack to keep them steady. So first, go for you. I might want to move just a little bit closer so I can make sure I can reach you and then reach you. Ready, boom, and boom. Give a little to both. Very generous. Um, and then it's all of the Peach, who could switch over here. I could dash into you and then blast the both of them. It's not enough for a full takedown on that one. Um, but they can't move anyway, so you know what? Let's go for it. And I guess I should have team jumped a little bit. That might have helped, but we're just gonna end the turn. It's all we can do anyways. Uh, let's see what enemies pop out of this one. What do you know? It's gonna be a wild claw. Oh boy, I thought it was gonna be another squash at. That's much worse. Uh, oh, and we cannot move much here. What is with that? Uh, I don't know why. I guess I should have dashed into it, but you know what? If I'm gonna be right next to you, I should probably make y'all gross. There we go. Hit me with the ooze. Does quite a decent chunk of damage, but this wild call, it doesn't mess around. Let's get Rabbit Mario right here then, so we could at the least, ooh. Oh yeah, this is our area dash. So I could, oh, you know what? I'm sending you right off the edge. That's what we're doing right now, ready? Dash, see ya. Oh, you didn't go the way I thought you would. That was weird. Finish you off, and then we can switch over, just like that, and then drop you down. Very cool, very cool. And then you are finished, because I don't have any dashes left for you, but I can just punch you. And there's no enemies popping out of the uh, portals just yet, so we'll see this next turn. Um, we'll just end it there, because what what more can we do? Here comes on the portal, right there and there. So this is where we get prepared for it, and I think one of the best ways we can do that is just have Rabbit Peach. Yeah. Just, just Peach, sorry, I've been playing so much with Rabbit Peach. I think it is them, but it's not. Um, we'll do that there, get Mario back this way too. Let's get the powered up, or maybe I'll just do normal Hero Sight. Normal Hero Sight for Mario. I was thinking about powering it up with the spark, but I think we'll save that for next turn and get Rabbit Mario nice and ready for whatever might pop out. Because Rabbit Mario has some shield right now, so I could just chill out right here. And maybe, yeah, that doesn't do anything, so I'll, I'll just stay here. And the turn, sure. Um, the only thing I might change is get Peach to eat a mushroom, so that we're basically back at the full, and now we're good. So what's gonna pop out of this one? Is it gonna be another wild call? It will be. Mario's gonna hit you with the hero side, so that forces you to turn around. And the other one, I don't think is close enough to reach anything. Ooh, okay, that was a perfect move then. I'm really happy with how all that turned out. More of these are popping up, so we are in a risky position for the time being. But I think Rabbit Mario wants to jump over this and land over there with them. So we can apply the shield from Princess Peach. I'm glad that I saved that. We're still only two, turn two out of five remaining. I feel like we just did three turns. No? I guess not. Anyways, Princess Peach is going to do her shield, which I think will be good. Then, if we want to add extra shield, I think I might want to save it for now, but I could, I guess, go with a shock dash. I don't know if that was the best idea in hindsight, actually, because now we can't use our normal weapon. But, gonna shock you. We will try to get you just over here, then. We can't do anything more. It's away from the wild claws. 
than Mario. Yeah, let's power everybody up with this. Seems like a good idea to me. Got some of that, jumping over. I think next turn we'll use the ice ability. For right now, I'm just going to focus fully on, I think, blasting you. But I could also, we already have this available again, didn't we just use this? I guess so. Cooldown's really low on it, so that's fantastic. I have two two dashes I can make. And that's gonna be one of them. They did not go anywhere. What What is happening right now? I don't know. Well, that's one enemy taken down, so it's something. And then I will just position ourselves here so that Mario can focus on this guy. He'll move over a little bit. But I think he's still close enough that Rabbit Mario can attack and finish him off. Maybe, let's see. Rabbit Mario, can you finish him off? It will not be enough damage to actually finish. But, can I dash you at all? I can't. Well, this is a little scary, actually. I don't know too much more about what I can do here. I mean, I could just position them over here. They're close enough to reach either of us. Uh, I, I say just go for it then. I say we just hit them as much as we can. We could go for extra dashes if we want with our one item we just got. We got the critical! Doesn't even matter then. Awesome. So that is another turn finish. Pass it over. So they're a little bit closer. We are going to, oh, one out of five turns remaining. Okay, I see, it was counting down, not up. So this is our last turn we gotta make our way through then. So we really could just end the turn like this. Cause you're gonna walk over, but you can't actually reach us. And there we go, we did it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Whoa, so we've reached the bottom. Oh my goodness, it's huge. So quite the battlefield we'll have to run around in here. Maybe this is where we can change the team up. Defeat Dark Mess Taproot. Okay, well, we'll do exactly that. You can see a couple of them around. Those Dark Mist Tap Roots, if we destroy all three of them, color will be restored to the Spellbound Woods. Time for tactics. Be warned, destroying the Tap Roots will also destroy strategic cover, leaving us more exposed on the battlefield. So it'll be better to defeat the opponents first, and then uh, we will actually destroy the things. So, I guess for right now we'll team jump over like this. I'll start focusing on as many enemies as I can. I guess dash through you. Because remember, I can just walk up like this. I know it's not the best idea when there's so many opponents, so it's a little scary, but I still think it might be our best bet. So let's just do it, let's just do it. If they take some damage, they take some damage. I don't think it'll be too huge. Because it also allows a jump pad to be unveiled. And there's still a couple of things blocking us, so, so we're fine. I can't wait to unlock the ability for, uh, where can I move Peach? I think maybe back here so we can actually do the team jump. There we go, that'll be much better. Um, for Rob and Mario to move after attacking, that'll be such a huge advantage. We land about here, dash into you, and we're fine. Now Mario, you can start making your way over to the other side where there are plenty of enemies to take on. We're going to start with activating Hero Sight. If anybody moves, we blast them. And I can get one of those, but I don't know if I need to get rid of all three of them on the same turn, so. Ooh, okay, let's just, let's just try our chances against one specific enemy. And I land one of them, so it's something. Princess Peach hasn't really done much in terms of attacking. We could, oh, I didn't even see you. Uh. Would that reach? Unfortunately, no. That is a bit of a problem. I don't know if it's worth using this on. What's our cooldown on it? Three turns. I think we're gonna need it sooner than that. So I could do this just to, you know, scare him, if not anything else, I suppose. Oh, you know what? Let's activate this time. There we go. We have Rabbit Mario's punch back enabled. And there's that hero sight coming in the action. And that tried, but didn't land on anybody. This is probably gonna go straight for Rabbit Mario. No, they go for Peach. And what about you? You're gonna attack, you will. We're resistant to it. 
And we can just, oh, what happened to our move? There it is. Oh, 376 is pretty good, but not a full takedown just yet. More enemies are about to pop up. So let's go ahead and dash into you. Dash into you again and just be done with it. That sounds good to me. We're going to jump over this way. Oh, you know what, let's get them over here. I think this is probably the best idea for now. Why did I, oh, I probably could have done that better in hindsight. Okay, it's fine though. We can get Rabbit Mario up here. Yeah, that's fine. Get them about here, get Peach out. And this is where there's a lot of enemies because all we have to do is focus on getting rid of the roots. We don't necessarily have to, uh, oh, and we got the shield charge, but that's actually perfect. Let's see where I can land Peach where she might be able to get rid of all three of these at once. Um, right there. Okay, well actually all but one because it still activates the shield here. Let's see if that works then. I sure hope it does. We'll see. Um, I might just want to hide a little bit like that. And then we'll activate our shield. Yeah, just for good measure. Activate the shield. Because like I said, our goal is to destroy these tentacles. We can worry about everything else after. So you can see two of them are hit. I don't know if it'll stay that way or if we really need to destroy all of them in one go. Um, I guess right now Mario is still sort of stuck. So we're just gonna go with this. Yeah, and leave it like that for now. Pass the turn. Some of these enemies are moving over and they might try to hit us, but we still have all that shielding ready and waiting. So if the eyes are stored this turn, it's fine because we can just get Rabbit Mario to jump over and get rid of all three of them. They are trying really hard to hurt us here, but we are just too resistant right now. Yeah, we're fine. Don't even worry about it. So, how do I want to do things here is the big question. Uh oh, poor Mario gets burnt up by that. That's not so good, but let's see. See, those eyes are back. You really need to destroy all three of them on the same turn, I think, right? It doesn't really tell me. <laughs> Uh, if I were to focus on it, yeah, that's exactly how it is. So you need to destroy all three of them on the same turn. I think we will start with Splash Dash. Seems pretty good to me. So we can Splash Dash and then get an immediate takedown. Same thing with you. And if I set this up the right way, actually, maybe I should focus on you because that's a guaranteed takedown to you. And get you about here. And remember that you can just hit this. There it is. That's another one done. Looking good, looking good. Rabbit and Mario can't do anything more for now, but what we can do is dash into you, uh, jump over with Peach, and try to help Mario get into a better position, or Mario can stay roughly around there. I am almost close enough. Wait, 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 let's go down here. Almost close enough to get this one. If I can get this one and that one, here we go. Those are busted now, I think. All I need to do is, that's already damaged, right? Yeah, it is. I just have to hit this one. There we go, and that should be the whole thing done. I think so. Okay, we did it. All three of the Dark Mus little spots are cleared out and battle cleared, we did it. Hooray. <laughs> How cool is that? Another crystal for us. Purified darkness energy crystal obtained. So there we go, the battle has been cleared. Big muscles from Rabbit Mario helped us power through. And we get a level up, yeah, we're level 17. So some really great results in today's episode. We've been battling super duper well, just barely even having an issue with anything. Whoa. Looks much better. Aww. All the critters return into the forest. So pretty. So that was great. Off color completed, one out of two purified darkness energy crystals collected. All right, so that is great. That means we've gotten one half of our main quest on here. New quest unlock in our quest log. But let's see, is there anything else to grab around here before we skedaddle? Maybe something back this way, like some extra coins to grab. I'll gladly take them. 
then I guess we're good to go back to the surface. But yeah, what an adventure so far. I really like this wet, this area. It seems like a lot of fun to explore. All right, so we're actually, we're back here now. So I'll head back out to the main area for now. Because next episode we'll be going to Woodrow's house. The uh, the Fallen King is our next quest. But I'm glad we got this one done. Obviously it was still necessary to do this. I don't know if we needed to do this to get through to Woodrow's house or if it was just that there's just two quests you can do whichever one you feel like doing first. But now we're back out here. Will anything look better? Whoa, it looks so much better. This is beautiful, I love it. So yeah, just like before we will take that ladder down. Oh, and there's something over here. I don't think I got to here before. What is this? Um, well, first there's that. But what's down this way? The exit? Oh, okay. It just looks so different now. That it's sort of hard to tell where I've been. We'll explore it and get a lot more familiar with it later on, of course, but for now, we're back out here, right where we started. What is that guy? Oh my goodness. So that is definitely something. Maybe we are at a different spot, because there I just have to fit this ladder. Okay, so there is a lot more to explore than a, 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 a lot for sure. It looks like the bridge might even be fixed. So we'll have to go over and take a look for ourselves. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.